Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SmackDown Live, and we have a uh, word that the COO Triple H from Buffalo, New York, Triple H, will be out here to announce SmackDown General Manager. Ladies and gentlemen, the game making his universe mode debut. Part of the authority has Seth Rollins and Randy Orton for the authority. I don't know if Randy Orton's still part of that. Seth Rollins left the authority a while ago. He wanted to go solo. He said he didn't need the authority. He actually called out the authority. He said he didn't need him. He didn't need the authority anymore. Yeah, well, he became a universal champion. So uh, I guess Indiana, it went out well. But this is Triple H's first appearance in my three years of universe mode. This is crazy. This is crazy. The game will SmackDown Live. We'll be announcing the SmackDown General Manager. I'm not used to Triple H being in suits, but um, and then um, it is rumored that the SmackDown general manager isn't anyway that's well known in the wrestling business. I, I wonder what. Uh, I have no clue what that's all about. But Triple H is here. Let's talk about the news. SmackDown general manager. Welcome everybody to SmackDown Live, and I hope you guys all enjoy the show. Now, Raw got Stone Cold Steve Austin as the general manager, but I feel as though I'm going to top that, and as a COO of this company, Triple H always, I always do what's best for business, and tonight... What's best for business is a SmackDown general manager that I have personally chose myself. And he will do business the way it is supposed to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you your new SmackDown Live general manager. And ladies and gentlemen, this must be the new SmackDown General Manager. Okay, he's in a suit just like Triple H. And he's coming down to the ring. The SmackDown General Manager. You, you saw his uh, name on the Titantron. Mr. Reed is his name. Wait a second. That's me. I'm the SmackDown the General Manager. Oh, well, would you look at that? Looks just like me. Mr. Reed, oh, he is fired up. He is fired up to be in a SmackDown GM. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to say thank you for giving me the opportunity and you, Triple H, for giving me the opportunity as your SmackDown general manager. It has been my dream to be in WWE and now I am finally here as your SmackDown general manager and business always comes first. So, 
as new SmackDown general manager, I got a couple of things to announce with the tag team division at the club. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson will be going one on one with the SmackDown Live debuting of the Young Bucks in tag team action here tonight on SmackDown Live. And then in our main event of the evening, in our main event, we are going to decide who is the better man when I put Cesaro in one-on-one -on -one action against the WWE champion, John Cena. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed the show, and I'll see you very soon. Mike was muted, but uh, the Young Bucks officially signed to WWE and SmackDown Live. <laughs> New SmackDown general manager, Mr. Reed, confirming that the Bullet Club, Skrull, Omega, and the Young Bucks have all signed their contract. Here's WWE, and they are here to stay. Smackdown Alive. Reed um, has also, um, he also addressed the Kenny Omega John Cena situation. He feels as though uh, those two should uh, make a run for the um, championship. Down, general manager. Mr. Reed making this matchup. And the young Bucks are ready. Throwing up the too sweet sign. Gallows and Anderson versus the young Bucks. Gallows starting off for uh, Gallows and Anderson. Nick Jackson starting out for the Young Bucks and Gallows staring down Nick Jackson as he hits him with a side slam. But here comes, oh, here comes, here comes Nick with the kicks, a series of kicks, oh, and a big kick to the side of the head. Of Nick of uh, Luke Gallows. It was Luke Gallows now with the reversal. That their uh, first tag team match actually came here on the Monday Night Raw. They faced Radar Charisma in a, in a, a 30 minute spectacular, which ended in the Young Bucks getting counted up. They were also an excess of Fiber Series into Gary there from Nick Jackson. Man, we got we got two new general managers for Raw SmackDown. One being the Hall of Man, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Here comes Matt Jackson now. Matt Jackson on the offense there. Gallows with the reversal. Man, I cannot wait to see what is in store. 
here for oh Carl Anderson kicking down uh Matt Jackson. I cannot wait to see what is in store these uh next couple of months with these new general managers. We got some big matches coming your way. John Cena will be in action tonight in our main event against one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champion Cesaro. That should be a really good main event. Cesaro versus uh, John Cena. We get to see Cesaro in some singles action. Here comes old oh, Nick Jackson. Nice move there. I don't know. Cesaro is a uh, world world championship material at least in my mind he is world championship material I think um, Hazaro can uh, hold a world championship very soon perhaps when they uh, drop the tag team belts again uh, he'll slowly make his way to the single scene or maybe he'll you know Try to do a little bit of both, like hold a tag team belt and hold a singles belt. I can see Cesaro doing that. I can see Tyson Kidd also doing that. Tyson Kidd also a very good singles competitor. Although we haven't seen him in much singles action. I think those two could be really, really good singles competitors down the road. Anderson with the reversal headbutt to Matt Jackson. Here comes Oh! Back right off the knee of Carl Anderson. Anderson dragging uh, Matt to uh, his respective corner. Gallows, the legal man. Matt Jackson wants it none. He wants nothing to do with Luke Gallows. Tags in Nick Jackson. And here comes Nick now on the offense. Oh, the Irish up outside of the ring. And man, the nostalgia. All these guys were in New Japan at one point. Multiple, multiple promotions before Giles Anderson made their way to WWE. Before AJ Styles came to WWE. Shinsuke Nakamura made his debut at Survivor Series. Count of five now. Oh my god. He, you need to get back in the ring. A count of six here. Gallows. Puts Nick back in the ring. Matt Jackson back in for the tag. Gallows preventing that from happening. There we, go. we got a little double team action going on there. Oh, and look at, look at, look at Anderson throwing up the two sweet. Here comes Matt Jackson and drop kick. Another drop kick, another drop kick here. Matt Jackson on fire. And a Niner Smackdown debut. Um, AJ Styles, Kevin Owens coming off losses at tables, ladders, and chairs. So you just wonder would those two um, have to say about their current state in the title picture. AJ Styles does have a rematch course. Kevin Owens on the other hand already had a WWE Championship opportunity. On an episode of SmackDown he lost and the only reason he was inserted, oh my god, a super kick to the back of the head. The only reason why Styles was in, or uh, Kevin Owens was put into that match is because Kenny Omega attacked AJ Styles. He attacked, he attacked AJ Styles, throwing everything off. Owens got counted out. So uh, Kevin Owens got, um, Granted a championship match and which made it a triple threat match at tables, ladders, and chairs. AJ Styles thought that was unfair, unruly. 
And I don't blame him. He beat KO fair and square. Or, well, I mean, he beat him via count out, but it doesn't matter how you beat him. He beat him. Styles, Styles thought that it should have just been AJ Styles versus John Cena. And it would have been a better outcome. Says AJ Styles. He comes gallows off that middle rope. Double axe handle. And Gallows is on fire tonight. Uh, Gallows. Oh. On the attack of Matt Jackson. Gallows and Anderson has had um They've had a couple of matches. They had a six-man match with AJ Styles, in which they are victorious in. Uh, they also had, oh my God, try to go for a tombstone power driver. Oh, Luke Gallows reverses it. Luke Gallows reverses it. Oh man, Matt Jackson's gonna pay for that. Choke slam. Oh no, Matt Jackson is laid out. Nick Jackson can only watch. Oh, there's a big elbow drop to the back of Matt Jackson. Oh, and look at Gallows now, the power. And the power, oh. Planning Jack, planning Matt Jackson face first. Oh, he get, oh, Matt Jackson gets to Nick. Oh, but he runs into a big boot. He gets tagged in just to get clocked by a big boot from Luke Gallows. And now here we go. Close line there, another close line. Here comes Jackson. Oh, and a drop kick. Nick Jackson's fired up. Nick Jackson's fired up in a, in a knee. A knee draw right to the face of Gallows. Uh, Jackson, which one of these teams are going to prevail here? Oh, and it, oh, the double hands on choke slam. He got it. Here's the cover. Here's the two. And there's the three. And the club's victorious. Man, and the Bucks have not had much success here. Oh, wait. And now here we go again. Gallows and Anderson attacking their opponent after the match. They did this to the Usos. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Gallows and Anderson not playing around with the Young Bucks, spoiling a SmackDown debut. And we're going to get on to our main event now. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Cesaro in singles action, ladies and gentlemen. Where's his damn belt? Oh, okay, there goes the belt right there. The belt just, uh, just literally appeared out of nowhere. That is okay. This is our one half here, SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, Gals and Anderson. The victorious, and they've been uh, on a roll here. Here's SmackDown Live. We're maybe looking at your new contenders for those SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Our SmackDown general manager puts his in this match to uh, prove, uh, to uh, see if see if Cesaro can uh, prove himself as a uh, singles wrestler. I mean, I think it's a good singles wrestler. He's had he's had a couple of um, good singles matches before forming a tag team with a Tyson Kit or reforming a tag team with Tyson Kit. I guess you could say after the uh, draft. Here comes John Cena. And Cesaro lit up with that body over here tonight. It is the WWE Champion. 
who has been repeatedly attacked by Kenny Omega over the last couple of weeks. And this is stirring up tension between probably one of the best wrestlers in professional wrestling in history. I go as far as say two of the best, including John Cena. That's how far I would go. Two of the best wrestlers in history. John Cena hoisting up that WWE title. He has held that title since uh, the No Mercy pay-per-view. He has defended it twice on SmackDown. And he has defended it at um, TLC. He has, um, and he's also defended at the Royal Rumble, but against two, you will find that out next week. All right, because John Cena, Cesaro facing off here. Colin up will tie up. That's Cesaro. Cena where he wants him. Oh, Cena breaks out of it. Don't. Throws out Cesaro into a headlock now. Now Cesaro has Cena in head scissors. Cesaro, let's go. Calinabo again. Cena powering Cesaro into the corner. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Referee breaking him up. And it should be a really good matchup here as Cesaro. Toss the Cena down. Cesaro, um, as I mentioned before, I think he is WWE Championship material. He's your current SmackDown, uh, or he is one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, but Cesaro can definitely get things done on his own. And he's been put to this match to prove himself. As a singles wrestler, Cena has the legs hooked. Oh, little suplex there from Cena. From Cesaro now. A, a Cena, okay. The exact same, the exact same counter that Cesaro does. You see, to just using a close line, wicked, wicked close line from John Cena has been a head scissors. Oh, dropping elbows. On the Swiss Superman, it's two Superman here in this match. Got the Swiss Superman, and you uh, have a regular Superman. Superman's here in this matchup. Expect like 10,000 finishers in this match. Expect this match to be 50 minutes long. That's how good this match is probably going to be. These two, I see great potential. This is Zaro and becoming champion one day. Look at the strength. Look at this. Look at. Oh! You ever seen somebody do that to John Cena before? Zaro there in control here in this match. Zaro sizing up Cena. Oh, with the, the uppercut off the. Second row. Love and Saw does that spinning uppercut. Spinning European uppercut, I should say. It's always a ding of beauty. When he does it off of the middle rope, it's a ding of beauty as well. Don't so sorrow. When we've seen it down hard on the mat. Here comes Cesaro rubbing faces Cena. Onto that mat, dropping an elbow on him. The WWE title picture is uh, very, very confusing right now with the attacks. Kenny Omega on John Cena. To a best of their perspective, brands here. This is like another one of those once-in-a-lifetime matches for John Cena. 
Oh, kick out at one of Cesaro. As a dream match written all over it. As a match of the series written all over it. There we go. We can see I got Cesaro in an arm bar. Cesaro breaks out of it. And now Cesaro back on the attack with the reversal. Chopper seeing it down the inverted DDT. Cesaro has seen on that middle rope. What is what is Cesaro thinking here? Oh, oh, the 619. I call it Swiss 19. Swiss Superman. Oh, oh, the 619. Belly to belly. John Cena. Oh. Cesaro getting the better of Cena here in this match so far. Cena with the reversal. Cesaro throws Cena right back down. Got him in an arm lock. And Cena fights out of that one. There we go. Chan, let's go. Cena. Cena looking for a power bomb. Cesaro. Oh. Fighting out of it. Driving right into Cena's skull. A Cena. Back to a, a vertical base here. Some sort. Uh, he had uh, he has Cesaro in the headlock. Cesaro with the reversal. Fighting out of it. Oh, look at that. A little bit of taunt in there from Cesaro. And Cena. And he wants uh, John Cena to come back in the ring. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, Cena fell for it. Oh, Cesaro playing mind games with Cena. And Cesaro ended up hitting him with that the big European uppercut. Tossing him up in the air. Oh, hitting him with the European uppercut. That is uh, Cesaro's signature maneuvers. One of his signature maneuvers. And now, oh, this is not going to be good for John Cena. Not going to be good for Cena. Oh, Cena on that top rope now. Oh, right to the... Top of the head of Cesaro. And now Cena. Oh, wait. Five knuckle shuffle. You can't see me, Cesaro. Oh, Cena runs to the referee. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. And now he's prepping. He's prepping for the attitude adjustment. He's prepping for attitude adjustment. Cesaro reverses to do it, DDT. Start wiping the sweat off himself. And now he's measuring Cena. This will be one of the biggest upsets here in Universe Mode history. Cena has not lost. Oh, and oh, he's putting him in a sharpshooter. The sharpshooter. Oh, Cena has never tapped there. John Cena's not going to tap to the sharpshooter. What? Oh, Cesaro got him in that sharpshooter. The ropes are right there for Cena. Oh, but Cesaro just lets go. I thought for sure Cesaro would definitely use the neutralizer. To neutralize uh, Cena in his main event. I'm so sorry now. Oh! Right, right to the abdomen of John Cena. Look for that one tomorrow. And now, oh, Cesaro now on the attack. Oh, but the kneecaps of Cena. Cena now. Here we go. Oh, and a power bomb there from Cena. Crowd here in Buffalo, New York, getting behind John Cena. Here we go, John Cena showing off his power with the gut wrench slam. Cena on the cover. Cena on the two with a kick out. John Cena, oh man. He kept, oh man, he kicks his all right in the spine. His all didn't like it. Cena, in the European uppercut, this might be it. Because I'm saying the universe mode, no. Oh my God. He may have angered the Swiss Superman a little bit. Now he's lining up for perhaps the neutralizer. Oh no, another, another. Sharp shooter, cloverly like maneuver here from Cesaro. 
Will Cena tap. Cena, no, wait. Oh, he broke out of it. Where's the neutralizer at? When will he use that neutralizer? Finish the maneuver. Cena, oh, Mission Nuclear Driver. There's no good driver there from Cena. Here's the cover. Here's the two. No. Cesaro with a kick out. Cena in that sharpshooter twice already. You have not seen Cena tap ever in universe mode. Out of all the matches he has been in, he's never tapped out. I think Cesaro wants to be the first man to do that. Comes so with a knee right to the face of Cesaro. From Cena, this has been a really good main event so far. Oh, there's Cena now. Oh! And this and that we usually set up into the five knuckle shuffle. No! Cesaro kicked out. John Cena may have to use uh, some new methods, some new uh, moves. Bring out some new moves in his arsenal for Cesaro. And he has brought the best of Cena here tonight in this main event. Man, Cesaro's performing very well. Here against John Cena. Oh, man, Cesaro. Getting hyped up here, getting fired up, Cesaro. Oh, European uppercut. Oh, another one. Oh, third one. Five. Oh, my. I lost count already. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Oh. You see this move from four for Cesaro. He's going to go from turnbuckle to turnbuckle. And then, oh, with a drop kick. Oh, Cena might be finished. Cena might be finished. Oh, uh-oh. And now he's going to series of gut rich slams. He won. He, um... He retained the tag team championships using this maneuver. Oh, that's two. And then the third roll. And then the third slam. He went straight into the cover last time. Will this be enough to take out Cena? No. He probably knows it's not going to be enough to take out Cena, so he didn't even try to. I would have tried. Reverse there by Cesaro. Stunning Cena. Cena with another reversal. Kick right to the gut. Oh, Cesaro, oh my God. Look at the sequence of reversals right now. The sequence of reversals are crazy. Oh, Cena with a, with a boot right to the face. And again, Cena slamming down. Cesaro, Cena is cut open a little bit. He's getting um, his face smashes to that turnbuckle to power out here at the cover. Looking to upset Cesaro here too. No kick out. Not to upset Cesaro, but to pin Cesaro. Cesaro kicked out. Oh, what an inverted suplex there. And it seems like when Cena's busted open, he just performs better. Another Mishinoku driver from John Cena. Wow, really get behind John Cena, but it seems like when uh, Cena's ever cut open, he performs better. John Cena starts becoming more, uh, more and more resilient, and a big clothesline by John Cena. Here comes Super Cena now, looking for a power bomb again. Sit out. Oh. Cena again. Crowd still getting behind Cena. Cesaro's out of that headlock and headlock of his own. John Cena and Cesaro wearing each other down. Which one of these men will prevail? Uh, Cena with the reversal. Oh, again, more reversals. More resiliency and, quite frankly, more power for John Cena when he's busted open. He's just, he just is a better performer when he's hurt. I don't know how he does it. That's why they call him Super Cena. That's why they call him Super Cena. Uh-oh, uh -oh, he's looking for a superplex. He's looking for a superplex, and he got it! Superplex!
This could be it. Cena. Looking to pin Cesaro too. No. Oh my God. Near fall. That was like two and three fourths. My goodness. Oh, a wicked right hand. Oh, in the uppercut. A wicked right hand in the uppercut. This could be it. Cesaro. The pin over Cena. No. Oh my God. Cesaro, the frustration is starting to come out now. Here comes Cesaro. He's looking for another one of those gut wrench slams. Oh, he got it. Cesaro. Oh, no. Cena tosses Cesaro off of him. Now yeah, Cena with a right hand. Cena. Oh. With the mini attitude adjustment. The miniature attitude adjustment. Cover two. No. What a match here. Wow, what a match. We haven't had a SmackDown main event like this in a while. I mean, John Cena and Rusev was good too. Two back to back. Good main events. Oh my God. Got right off the knee. Cesaro not yet tried to neutralize her, but he doesn't need to. He just bring all the strong moves out in his arsenal. When will he use that neutralizer and finish the maneuver? He's just going to keep doing the sharpshooter. He's going to make Cena tap eventually, he said. Cena, oh, right on, oh, right under that rope for the rope break. Oh, wait, he's sizing him up again. He's sizing him up again. Oh, this time Cena reverses it. This time Cena with the reversal. Oh. Cena with the reversal. Cesaro catches him in a vicious clothesline. Oh my God, I can't pay review man events ever be this good. Cesaro looking to end Cena too. No. My goodness. We have not seen a Cesaro swing yet, surprisingly. We also have not seen a neutralize. He keeps going for this cloverleaf finishing maneuver. Keeps being going for the cloverleaf. He has not brought out the one finisher that neutralizes the opponents. No pun intended. Cena with a back suplex. Cena. Cena. Oh, Cesaro does out of the way. Oh, Cena. Say you can't see me to Cesaro. Attitude adjustment. A, A, cover, two, no. Oh my God. What is it gonna take? Cena, he's sizing up Cesaro again. Ducks out of the way. Cena again. Attitude adjustment. Cover one, two, three, and Cena is victorious. What a performance from Cesaro! Wow, he brought out the fight, and John Cena here tonight. But John Cena in the end is victorious. Man, you gotta think with that performance. Cesaro is 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 um is like making his way up there in the WWE Championship picture after that performance. Wow. What a performance with Cena. Victorious here tonight in our main event. Thank you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to slap a like and subscribe if you are new. Until next time, peace out, John Cena. Still victorious, still undefeated here in Universe Mode for this season.